What is going on ladies and lads? I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how to set up IW4X as quickly as possible. Make sure you follow the video exactly and just listen to every single thing I have to say. Otherwise, you're going to run into some problems. It may be a bit overwhelming, but it is a very quick and easy process. Now, the way that I recommend is to go the route of getting Modern Warfare 2 through Steam. This makes the process a lot easier and there are other ways of getting your hands on Modern Warfare 2, but this is the most reliable. As you can see, I already have it installed, but if you don't know how to get your hands on it, you go up to store and then you simply search up here for Modern Warfare 2. Click on the game, you scroll down and you just hit add to cart and you follow through and you check out. Now, as you can see on the left, I only have Modern Warfare 2 multiplayer installed. I do not have Modern Warfare 2 regular installed. You only really need the multiplayer. Now that you have Modern Warfare 2 installed, you're gonna wanna download the Xlabs launcher. It's very quick and easy. And while we're at it, we're gonna download everything that we need from this website. And once we're done with all that, that should be the end of all downloads for this tutorial. So you're gonna go up to IW4X and you're gonna click on IW4X client support. You're gonna go ahead and download IW4X if you own the game. So the second blue button, it'll scroll you down and you're gonna to wanna to download both of these. When you go to the Qubit Torrent link, you're gonna to wanna to download the X64 one and then go back and download the actual torrent itself. So both of these blue links, and then you can just follow after me. As you can see, Google wanted me to scan the BitTorrent file through Chrome and it checked out okay, so you don't have to worry about this file at all. Once you have all three of these files downloaded, you can hit the up arrow on one of these files and just go to show and folder. This will bring you to your downloads folder where all three of the files are downloaded. What I recommend is taking all three of these, highlighting them, right clicking and hitting cut, going to your desktop, creating a folder called IW4X, opening it up and simply right clicking and pasting all of those files in. Now, once you're done with this, all you have to do is open up Xlabs and let it install. As you can see, it's updating files, so you're just gonna let it do its thing. Now, once the Xlabs launcher is open, you're gonna wanna go down to the cogwheel on the bottom left. You're gonna wanna hit browse to the right of MW2 installation and find where you installed it through Steam. For me, that is going to be my local disk C, my program files x86, Steam, Steam apps, common, and then Modern Warfare 2, which you will single click. You do not have to double click it. Note that if you get it any other way, the file might not be named Modern Warfare 2, but inside of it, it'll look just like this, maybe without the IW4X mods and user maps folder. So as I said, single click Modern Warfare 2, select file, and you're simply done. Now the game should boot up just fine. Now all you have to do next is set up the DLCs, which is pretty simple and easy. You just want to run the BitTorrent thing, and if it pops up with a window like this, you just hit more info and run anyways. Google already tested it, so you know that this file is perfectly fine. Basically, you just run through it, you hit next, you allow and accept, then you don't need a desktop shortcut unless you want one for some reason, you can hit next, and then install it. Once it's done installing, make sure launch BitTorrent is ticked, and hit finish. Now, once BitTorrent is open up, all you have to do is move this folder over so you can see the window for BitTorrent. Drag the torrent we downloaded, you'll see this file, IW4X underscore DLC's torrent, onto BitTorrent. Now, all you have left to do is once again, up here where it says save at, you want to hit this little folder icon right here, and you want to go back to your Modern Warfare 2 directory that we went to on Xlabs. So again, local disk C, program files x86, Steam, Steam apps, common and then single click modern warfare 2. you hit select folder and then all you have left to do is right here on this third and final drop down window labeled content layout you want to open it up and click don't create subfolder once you do that click ok and the download will begin now once the download is done all you have to do is right click it and hit pause you can even go as far as to delete and uninstall BitTorrent if you don't trust it which is perfectly understandable but you are completely done now all you have left to do is open IW4X, hit multiplayer, and launch the game. Now that you're on the game, you're going to want to go through and adjust your options. You want to set your resolution to max. I would not recommend turning this on. I just don't see the purpose. I also would recommend doing no full screen with, you know, disable window border, so windowed full screen, and go down to your advanced. And then, as you can see, just max this, max all of these out. So you want to leave this to auto four times. I only have a 144 hertz display, but if you have 240, then you can go up to that, whatever the case may be. No, and then just yes, 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 and then all extras at the bottom. Once this is done, you are all set. 
all of your DLCs will work. The games will run and just to even prove it to you, for example, Crash Tropical, which is an IW4X exclusive, it boots up just fine. Hopefully you guys found this tutorial helpful. I did the best I could to bring you guys exactly what you guys might need. And be sure to check out my tutorial in the description if you guys want to check out all of the ARZ servers, which is basically a giant custom gun fiasco with 40 plus weapons and 60 plus custom maps. It's incredible. I hope you guys found the tutorial helpful and I'll see you guys in the next one.